So a lot of people were saying they wanted to get away from essentially the creamy crack, so to say. All right, I think everyone has heard that term, but it's it's like we're going back for a curl pattern. But I guess if we're doing it to make our hair curly, then that's okay. But if we're doing it to make our hair straight, then that's when the outrage comes in. Hmm. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, we have a lot to unpack. Basically, is the Jerry Curl coming back or is it back? All right, y'all, let's talk. So I have been on TikTok, just like most of you have been on TikTok. I've been on Instagram. I've just been digging into the hair world, okay? So one thing that I see is that the Jerry Curl is coming back. However, it's coming back under some different names, okay? Now, I guess I've been living under rock because I've never in my life heard of some of these, but we're going to talk about them. And if you know anything about them, please make sure you join in on the conversation down below but baby we're going to be talking about the jerry curl the gina curl and the nouveau wave okay so i'm going to be inserting clips we're going to be looking at pictures and everything but we're going to come down to the main question is is all of this just a reformed jerry curl hmm Alright, so let's unpack the Gina Curl first. So, guys, I had never heard of this, but I'm scrolling through TikTok and I do see a lot of ussies, okay, that are getting Gina Curls. Okay, so I'm like, well, what the heck is a Gina Curl? So I go down this rabbit hole at like 3 o'clock in the morning, okay, and I start looking and this looks all too familiar, okay? So, if you guys will focus your attention right here, I will put up here exactly what the Gina Curl is. And we'll go ahead and read it, okay? So, it says the Gina Curl restructures the hair molecules to reduce frizz and volume, making the hair softer, smoother, shinier, with a curl that is more manageable, soft, shiny, and moisture balanced. Okay. Now, when I was looking at people actually do this Gina curl, this was basically a Jerry curl. Okay. So we are adding chemicals to the hair, and then we're also putting the really small perm rods in it, and then we're neutralizing everything so that you can essentially have a curl a permanent curl pattern okay so i was just kind of confused so i went even a little bit deeper down the rabbit hole and as you can see here we are going to put the owner or the founder of the gina curl right here okay so the final uh, the founder of the gina curl is gina R riviera sorry if i'm not pronouncing that right but she did find it so I was wondering at what point or when was the Gina Curl founded? The Gina Curl was founded supposedly in 1980. The Jerry Curl came out in 1970, became popular in around the 1970s, okay? So I'm not sure because like I said, here we are almost in 2024 and I had no idea what the heck a Gina Curl was. So I'm guessing the jerry curl came out and then the gina curl was launched now the gina curl is ranging from 950 and up as i was scrolling through tiktok i seen that some people were paying two and three thousand dollars for a gina curl and it is recommended that you get the gina curl at least twice a year okay and depending on your hair and depending on the way that you take care of it you may be prompted to get it sooner. So I was just kind of like, wow. And just like I stated, watching the process, it just looks all too familiar. Now let's get into the Wave Nouveau. As far as when the Wave Nouveau was founded, I have no clue. I couldn't find anything on that. I'm not completely sure. However, let's read, and I'll put it right here, what is a wave nouveau okay so it says it is permanent waves it goes on to say using a chemical solution to break down the bonds in the hair that give it its shape 
Relaxed locks are then wrapped around rods and rinsed with a neutralizing solution that reforms the bonds and leaves hair looking naturally curly and feeling wonderful. Okay, so that's the Wave Nuvo. So again, I get down this rabbit hole, uh, rabbit hole of Wave Nuvo, and I'm seeing the same videos of the Jerry Curl the wave uh the jerry curl the gina curl and then we have the wave nouveau where we're putting a chemical solution on the hair because all of it is essentially a two-step process you're putting a chemical on the hair after you put a chemical on the hair we then add rods and then we neutralize to get a permanent wave or a permanent curl Okay, now I don't know the price range of the Wave Nouveau, but I do know, nor do I know the price of the Jerry Curl, which I've been looking, okay, but I do know that the Gina Curl is $9.50 plus, and it also says that people are flying all over the world to Connecticut to get their hair done by Miss Riviera, Rivera. okay, because this Gina Curl is super, 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 super popular, and it has taken off so let's dive into the jerry curl so as you guys can see on the screen it says the jerry curl is a permanent wave hairstyle that was popular among african americans during the 1980s and early 1990s invented by the hairdresser jerry redding the jerry curl gives the wear a glossy loose loosely curled look Hmm. Okay, so I don't know. Are all three of these the same? Because once I googled Jerry Curl Kit, Gina Curl Kit, and Wave Nouveau, they were all similar products. I know the Wave Nouveau did have like um I think their neutralizer was a little different. It was like a blue bottle with a black top or something. But essentially, it's like the same things. And then the internet recommends me perm rods, okay? Which are the little small rods in order to make the curls. Because with each one of these, you can customize your curl slash wave. So essentially, you can really have any curl pattern that you really want. I'm not against either of these. Heck, I still have people in my family, which is my great-great-grandmother, who still actually gets the Jerry Curl. And I do know some old-school stylists that get them. Now, how much it is in 2023, I have no idea because, from my understanding, it wasn't as popular. But in actuality, it is because it's just it has just been rebranded. That's all that it has been. I've always thought that it, it has looked cool. I thought that... um. Every time I've seen people with it and it was done right, the hair has looked healthy. However, there are cons to these hairstyles as well because either way it goes, it's essentially perming the hair. You're putting a chemical on the hair that does permanently affect those follicles. It permanently affects your natural hair you you come completely out of a natural state and then you enter into a relaxed state okay so a lot of people were saying they wanted to get away from essentially the creamy crack so to say all right i think everyone has heard that term but it's it's like we're going back for a curl pattern but i guess if we're doing it to make our hair curly then that's okay but if we're doing it to make our hair straight then that's when the outrage comes in hmm not really sure, but I do want to get you guys' thoughts and opinion on the Jerry Curl, the Gina Curl, and the Nouveau Wave. I just want to know how you guys are feeling. Do you feel that all these are the same thing? Have you heard of these before? Have you ever tried them? Would you ever try them? What are your true thoughts and opinions? I really want to have an in-depth discussion in the comments. I'll be joining in, of course, as I always do. And, uh, yeah. That's pretty much it. I'll see y'all in the next one.